Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again. I'm with the crew right now. We're at the Beverly Center uh, in Hollywood, about to witness something pretty rad. You want to tell them what it is? Museum of Dreamscape. Yeah, the Museum of Dreamscape, which is like a, a pop-up shop, you know, kind of little thing. But that's over here in the Beverly Center. And uh, we, we read up about it and we're like, hmm, this could be kind of cool and trippy because over the last handful of videos with us, you guys noticed we went to a lot of weird trippy kind of spots and uh, this one looks kind of like the same sort of thing. All right, guys, we're over here at the mods right now. We're about to head on in. Let's go, Aaron. You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. You ready, Jocelyn? All right, let's go. Beyond these doors is something very special. Let's go. Oh, whoa. Aaron, what is going on in here? It feels like we just stepped into like a prom or something. Yeah. Look at the ceiling. I know. It was just like a, like a digital like art show or something. It's kind of cool. Whoa. All sorts of people in here taking selfies and you know videos and things. Mostly selfies. This place is really kind of cool. Uh, of course, we went to a handful of like you know weird trippy places over the last few videos, but uh, this is not the only room. There's another one right beyond these doors. What does this? Whoa. Flower power, man. There's like butterflies. And yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on here. I feel here. like I'm in a cartoon right now. I know, it feels like we're like Mary Poppins land or something like that. Cherry Tree Lane a little bit. Of course, you know, it's just like a big art show. But like the ground moves beneath us, like the flowers and the things. How dope is that? Are you trying to don't kick the flowers? <laughs> don't kick the flowers. Calm yeah, down, Aaron. No, so cool, but yeah, this is mostly like a picture taking place. As you can tell, like people are posing for different pictures. Looks, looks kind of cool though. Especially in the age of like Instagram, Facebook and stuff like that where everyone is on social media and taking pictures and things, you know, even my cringy butt. Places like this are the place to be. You know what I mean? Like I can see this, I can see places like this popping up more and more often, you know, in the next few years, you know? Yeah. Just, 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 just so we can have different content to post on our Instagram. But check out this trippy painting. It's moving. It feels like I'm on something, but I'm not. I'm just high, high on life. All right, guys, we're now in the exhibit right here. They have cool little light shows going on over here where people are taking, you know, pictures with one another. It looks kind of cool, huh, Joss? Yeah. yeah. There's like all. There's a lot of people in here right now. We even have a friend over here named Charlie. Our per He's our personal photographer right now. Rolling around with a big old camera. Oh. Whoa, he's like taking pictures of us as we, you know, walk through this exhibit today. Which I think is kind of cool. We'll show you guys a little bit more as we go. So I want to show you guys this. Wait, what's going on? Little oh. Here. Oh, oh, these balls have sensors? Fan. Okay. <laughs> and it turns these on right here. Whoa. So you, you blow in it and the light goes on? So look at the lights behind me. Yeah. That is super cool, man. Yeah. That is so cool. Is there any chocolate in here, Charlie, in this, in this place? Sadly, no chocolate. <laughs> everyone we just got out of the mods uh you know museum over there which i thought was really kind of cool mm -hmm. it, was, it was a lot of fun if you guys love like a place to take selfies or you know bring your friends take a couple of you know fancy pictures definitely check out uh their instagram all that stuff the address and links and stuff will be down below in the description box of this video but yeah i'm still out here in hollywood and there's one more place i wanted to show you guys uh for a video because i've one i've never been here before and two it's owned by a very special person, someone I always thought was kind of cool in movies and stuff like that. And the place that I'm talking about right now is called Trejo's Donuts. You know the man, the myth, the legend right here, Danny Trejo. Let's head on in to uh, Trejo's Donuts and see what they have to offer. It looks like they have donuts and 
ice cream. All right, everyone, inside of Trejo's Donuts right now, we have Danny Trejo up there holding his uh, famous ice cream donut. I believe the, the gentleman said it was called over here. But check out some of the cool little uh, other donuts that they have here. They have uh, the maple pig donut, which is, of course, a donut with maple and, you know, bacon on it right here and they also have a margarita margarita donut uh, I don't know if I want to try that thing that'll probably that'd be kind of trippy and of course little you know a regular chocolate ones in here vegan dark chocolate donuts and here's the Trejo's uh, cone uh, right here it's, 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 this is the ice cream uh, you know it's a donut and then they put the ice cream on top of it which I think is kind of cool and of course Danny Trejo has his own merch right here you can get Trejo tacos uh, t-shirts and all different uh, sizes. I believe he even has like mugs and stuff too. But man, show him some support, man. He's a good dude. All right, guys. I ended up getting the ice cream donut <laughs> right here. It has a chocolate filling. You know, it's like a regular sugared, uh, you know, powdered uh, donut with ice cream on top <laughs> right here. And uh, I'm going to try it because I've never had an ice cream donut before. And that's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Have you? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys ever been to Trejo's before? Hmm, tastes pretty good. But Aaron, I got you something. Oh really? In here from uh, Trejo's, you know, coffee and donuts. I got you the donut with uh, bacon on it. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot the name of it already, but you know, it's, it's oh, the maple, the maple pig, oh, okay. or something like that. So, have you ever had a, a donut with bacon on I it? I have not actually. Do you want a piece? Yeah, you want a piece, Jocelyn? Okay. All right, try try it, man. You never had donut with with a. Uh... Pretty good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I've never. I never seen a donut. I like I like bacon and I like donuts, so. Yeah, a bacon donut, yeah. Whoa guys, we're in the elevator right now. Over here by the Arc Light in Hollywood. And what is coming out of the Cinerama Dome over there? I gotta get a closer look. Alright, like I said, we're over here in Hollywood by the Arc Light, and uh, there's something coming up outside of the Cinerama Dome. I don't know how good of a shot I'm gonna be able to get, but it looks like Godzilla is trying to break out of the movie theater. Check this out, guys. How kind of cool is that? The thing, you know, Godzilla, you know, popping up out of there. You know, like, it was, I don't know, man. This was like something I wasn't expecting to see. You know, driving down Hollywood Boulevard, going, what? Is it, what's going on here? It's like right next, you know, right down the way from Amoeba Records and stuff like where little onlookers are going on, but they just don't know that right above them, Godzilla, Godzilla is trying to come and get them <laughs> do you, are you guys uh, a fan of the godzilla movies at all uh, no kind of i kind of like the one with brian cranston and of course the one in like the late 90s I, I like the very first one well that was cool seeing godzilla on top of the the theater over there something a little different but you never know what you're going to come across out here in hollywood how many of you out there are down to see the new godzilla king of the monsters movie let me know down below in the comments because to me those trailers i've seen look really super cool but right now guys we're heading on over to amoeba music let's go on in and see if they have anything cool and right here guys is where they carry like the newer the newer releases that just recently came out like apollo 11 and you know her smell which i don't know if i want to know what her smell is but aaron dude check out this movie bro i think of you every time i see the cover super cock oh wow have you ever seen that movie before no i don't need to I already uh you already got one you know, Brandon, this, this is a really good one too. I have that. Mill Creek put that one out. There's like two. There's like two of them. I think. Well, uh, Andy Sedaris, I think. Is mm -hmm. the he, he did like ten of these types of movies in the '80s. They're really good. Yeah. And what is this? Death warmed up. What is that? Have you have you heard of this before? I never heard of that. Me neither. But dude, come on, bro, Supercock. And speaking of Godzilla, they have like a little collection of them. Of uh, the different Blu-rays and stuff over here, and of course the new 4K of the new one that I recently, you know, acquired and everything. But yeah, like I said, let me know down below, what are some of your favorite, you know, Godzilla movies? Like, do you own all of the ones that you want on uh, physical media uh, down below? I know, I don't think I have all of them, especially on Blu-ray, but what, what, which one's your favorite? Did, did you say, or you don't really I have like, one? Um, I like this one, and I, I like Destroy All Monsters. Wait, what is it? Oh, Mecha Godzilla? Uh, but the first one, yeah. Okay, okay. But man, this place, crazy busy on the weekends. People everywhere hoarding up on physical media. Dropping physical media too. But this place I do get overwhelmed sometimes coming in because it's just so much to look at, so much to take in. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna like, you know, maybe pass out sometimes. But I do like how they, you know, represent VHS still uh, up over here. Most of them are only like a dollar a piece uh, when it comes to these right here. 
But this is, of course, what I grew up on first. Uh, the first, you know, a physical media format, uh, you know, my family, ever, you know, ever got into. Even an old school, you know, Mighty Ducks uh, VHS right here. Uh, there's a friend of mine that's asking me to, you know, look, be on the lookout for some uh, Dragon Ball Z VHS. And if I ever come across them, I'll probably try to pick some up for him. You know, a co-worker friend of mine. But if I see him, I'm definitely gonna, you know, grab it for him. Heading out of Amoeba right now. I didn't find anything in there I really needed. We're only there for a couple of minutes anyway. We pretty much stopped to see the Godzilla thing outside. But Aaron did pick up a couple things in there, which we'll show you guys towards the end of the video. All right, everyone, we just got done eating our food, dropped Jocelyn off, and uh, now we're heading off to this other undisclosed location. Not really undisclosed, but we're here to pick up some attire for the Vegas movie that's uh, coming up. We're over here at the big ass Goodwill. So let's head on in and see if we can find something cool for Gabriel. Aaron, dude, <laughs> this is the weirdest Goodwill I've ever it's, been it's into. It's like a third world country Goodwill. Like, what is this? Like, everything's just dumped in bins and like people are like searching through bins going, ooh, where's the latest fashion? But like, that's it. There's like no sections. It's just kind of like dump bins and wheelbarrows of clothes. Dude, what? I'm not, I'm not gonna go through this. You wanna go to a different Goodwill? All right, man, let's get out of here. I don't know if I wanna go through these dump bins myself either. All right, now we made it on over to the last destination of the day, this other local Goodwill, which looks a little bit better <laughs> from the windows that we saw outside, so let's head on in. Well, we're in here right now looking for an extra shirt or two for Gabriel for the, you know, the Vegas trip. And I came across this one. This looks like something he might, maybe, I don't know, but you say we're looking for something loud. Something kind of like that was like really make him stand out when he were walking down the streets of Vegas. That that might work. I think this one might be a little small. You know what I'm saying? Like, fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little. I can't even get this. How do I? Ugh. Jesus. Well, you know this one looks bomb on me. Yeah, it do. I'll hit it yeah. from the back. <laughs> All right, guys, we came across some other choices uh, right here. I want to go check the movie section here. They ain't jack shit here. But uh, you want to show some of the choices that you have? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, is this, that was a small too, huh? Yeah. That might work for this Gabe. This one has sleeveless. Sleeveless, oh no, like, like <laughs> kind of like how Gabe would cut it out himself. <laughs> okay, okay. Keep in mind, this is like, you know, wardrobe for Gabe for the Vegas movie, some other stuff. Huh. Uh, I don't know if I care for that one. Ooh, that oozes sex appeal. No, I don't know. I, I like the first couple. Yeah, like, there's, there's, there's two more. I kind of like that first one and the sleeveless one so far. Now I make this shit look good. Even Aaron would do me. What'd you guys think? <laughs> hey. Come on, girl. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, guys, we're out of the goodwill right now. We're about to show you guys what we picked up. All right, enough of that shaking around <laughs> business. Uh, the only thing I picked up today, uh, I was out and about before I, I, hang, I hung out with Aaron. I went to um, uh, Dark Delicacies today, and I picked up this cool little uh, Jason keychain right here. I don't know if you can see. It's like a little pop vinyl, like, Jason keychain. I got for like seven bucks because I just needed a keychain because I lost a pair of keys the other week and shit. But that's all I really got today. But Aaron picked up two things. Okay, well, other than the shirts for Gabe, we got we got on this one. Mm -hmm. I got on this one. Yep. Okay. And then I got from Amoeba, uh, Return of the Living Dead. Yep. And Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Yeah, the, the Scream Factory releases. Those are actually... Uh, pretty decent, pre pretty decently put together. A lot of cool special features. I believe each one has like a two disker. I'm believing at least one of them is two disker. Mm. Great special features on those. You got you got a good deal on those ones in Amoeba today. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And uh, drop a comment down below letting us know what your favorite part of the video was. And me and this guy, we'll see you next time. Mm.